Okay, we're at the radio, and uh, I'm going to go into menu, set, connectors, and uh, I'm going to scroll through the pages so you can see uh, all of the settings. This ACC USB AF output level, that has to do with receiving your digital signal, and the higher it is, the more noise you're going to have in your waterfall, but if you set it too low, your waterfall will be dark. So that's one of the settings we'll look at. Another one is the USB mod level, and I have mine set to 40%. If you set that one too high, you'll get too much ALC, too low, and you won't have any output power. So I have mine set to 40%. And let me just show you what the other settings are on here. Data modulation is set to USB. We can skip over this. USB send. I have mine set to RC RTS. And if you're using Ham Radio Deluxe, you might have yours turned off. Just depends on uh, the cable you're using. Depends on if you have RTS checked or not when you connect with Ham Radio Deluxe. Uh, the two down below, I, I usually use two cables, and I have this set to DTR for CW King and FSK. But the ones we're mainly interested in is this USB mod level, and again, that's the transmit, and then the USB AF output level, and that controls the AF output from the radio to your computer. So if you had that set really high, you'll have too much noise in your waterfall. Okay, let's go to the operating system. Okay, for the purpose of this video, I'm using Windows 10, and this is Windows 10 Professional. But most of the uh, operating systems are the same. If you find your uh, speaker icon over here, I'm right-handed, so I'll right-click on it and then uh, left click on play to playback devices it brings up this window and you can get to the playback and recording from this window let's go over the playback first though here is my USB audio codec and this was this is what we're going to be using for transmission I'm going to double click on it and open up the window I've changed the name to ICOM 7300 so it's easy for me to find. The next tab is the levels tab and this is important. I have mine set at 50 right now. Now if I, I raise this too much I'll have too high an output. If I lower it too much I won't get any output. We can look at these other tabs. The enhancements I don't have anything set. Uh, advanced just DVD quality don't have anything set here. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now the recording, and that's the receiving end of the 7300, and let's take a look at it too. We might as well since we're here. And again, I have uh, changed the name to ICOM 7300. It's a USB audio codec. I'm going to double click on it. And this is where I changed the name. I'm going to go over to Levels, and I have this set at 40%. Now, that's because when I'm in WSJTX, if we have this set too high, uh, there's too much noise coming in, and it will turn red on the, uh, on the meter on WSJTX. So I back this off just a little bit, and this works well for me with WSJTX, and DM780. Let's take a look at the other tab. Advanced DVD quality again. Uh, listen. I don't have anything set in here. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So the playback device in the operating system, that is your transmission. And the recording device, that is your receiving. So if your recording device is set too high, you'll get too much noise in your waterfall. Too low, you'll have a dark waterfall. On the playback, 
If you have the uh, audio, your USB audio codec too high on the playback, you'll have too much power output, maybe too much ALC. But then again, if you have it set too low, you won't have any power output. Okay, that does it for the operating system. Let's go over and look at some of the specific software. Okay, let's take a look at WSJTX. And first, let's look at the, the meter on the left-hand side. This is a receiving. If this turns red, if I have too much audio coming in, I have to go in and adjust it. Now, I can move this slider down a little bit, but I like to have it right around the middle. The adjustment for this is the recording device. Let me slide that window over, the recording so this is the one we're looking at. If I have too much red in here, I can open this up and knock it down just a little bit. Now on the right hand side, this is the power. And I've got mine set in the middle. I'm on JT65. It's a low power mode, weak signal mode. So 10 to 15 watts is usually good. Uh, 20 watts at the most for me. So let me go ahead and hit the tune button. And you'll see the, the front of the ICOM 7300 in the top right hand corner. Let's watch it, see what the power output is in the ALC. Okay, right at 10 watts and no ALC. That's real good for JT65. If I want to bump it up a little bit, I just use this power slider on the right. Now if I go over to FT8 in this mode, I've had to use a little bit more power on this one. And I've used 20 to 30 watts. The band conditions have been pretty poor. So I would need to move this slider just up a tad don't want to be transmitting over the top of anybody so let me just hit the tune and we'll see what the power output is in the ALC if you look at the again the uh, picture in the top right hand corner you'll be able to see uh, the power in the ALC on the 7300 okay that's just about 20 watts and no ALC that looks real good that's what I would use for FT8 Okay, let's look at DM780, Digital Master 780. That comes with Ham Radio Deluxe. Okay, here we are at Digital Master 780, and I've got a pretty good waterfall going here. Uh, I don't need to adjust my uh, audio coming in. So let's take a look at transmitting. And the slider that I'm going to be looking at is over on the sound card in TX. And you can see it's pretty low right here. I usually transmit between 20 and 30 watts on PSK31. So I've got uh, VVV and then my call sign in here. I'm going to go ahead and transmit it. And again, in the top right hand corner, corner, you'll see the face of the ICOM 7300. We can watch the power in the ALC. Alright, that's about 40 watts and no ALC. So a little bit more than I usually use. I can move this slider down just a tad. And we'll try it again. Okay, that's right at about uh, 30 watts, 25, 30 watts. That'd be perfect. So that's for uh, PSK31. Oh, there's somebody calling me. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and uh, put him in there and give him a call. Just because he uh, <laughs> he saw me uh, testing, maybe he needs South Dakota. 
Oh, there he is. Well, he didn't hear me. I'm going to bump up my power just a little bit and then uh, give it another try. So I'm at about 35 watts right now. It's 4 o'clock. Oh, he heard me that time. So just using this slider and bumping it up a little bit, I'm able to get the contact. Okay, that's Alan. Well, I didn't expect this, but anyway... It's a good example of uh, how to use the slider and uh, you can bump it up a little bit to make the contact if you need to. Okay, well that was a good contact and I'm glad that happened. It's a good example of what you can do with this power slider and uh, just boosting the power output a little bit helps make a contact. Alright, well I appreciate you watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Have a great day, Best73, and good DX.